Hello once again audience. a few questions um, the other day on my previous vlog so uh, I'm gonna answer them uh, question one how far behind the car in front do you stop I'm guessing it means a set of lights um, in all fairness I don't think there is a rule for a set distance if you're on a bike, why stop in traffic? You can filter through. Just go right to the front, baby. Just go right to the front. Yeah, so uh, the answer to question one is just go to the front. Why wait in traffic when you don't have to? And the second question How do you negotiate a roundabout junction? I think it's kind of it's hard, kind of hard to explain. Um, you you just sort of know as you're approaching it. Oh look, there's a roundabout here. Woohoo! Right, check see if it's upcoming. Go round roundabout. Indicate left halfway across the junction before you need to turn off. Check your shoulder, and you go round. You come off the roundabout. I mean. And the third question. Last but not least, how do you overtake and do it safely? Uh, there's three steps really. I can't do it right now, uh, but I'll, I'll go through the steps and then I'll, sh I'll show you it in practice. So you back off a bit. Rule number one, back off. This gives you time to check the road ahead, make sure there's nothing coming, uh, make sure it's safe. Uh, rule number two, get a run up. That is another reason why you backed off. You need to get a run up so that you can get past them as quick as possible and not waste time. Rule number three, either break or go. You've already started doing your overtake at this point. Just about to pull out. If it's safe to carry on, just go for it. Just do the overtake. If you're having second thoughts for any reason, just abort the overtake, slow down, pull back in. So ignore what all these uh, silly little chaps do on their scooters. They're just a bloody... They must have ordered their coffin already. Right, so you want to drop back, make sure it's safe. Check your shoulder. Go for it. Pull back in. Simple as that. So, uh, riding season's almost over for us here in the UK. But no worries, because I'll be winter riding. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yep, it may be cold. It may be wet. It may be even snowing. But nothing stops the Yorkshire biker. So, yeah, um, I'll still be doing vlogs. Um, and if it is actually too bad, for me not be able to do vlogs. Um, I will think of some different things to do for you. Get off your phone, you cock. Um, yeah, I'll uh, think of different things to do. Um, I'll still do things like I'll do competitions and things, I think. Things and think, I think. Well, uh, it seems to have got very um, dark over the last five or ten minutes. Uh, it was quite nice as you can see over there. It's... The sun was blaring down on the plastics of my motorcycle. Also, um, I thought I'd give a quick review on uh, the gear that I wear. 
um, gloves I have RST blades uh, they are a summer glove but at the minute they seem I mean it was quite nippy when I came out this morning um, when I'm finishing work and things you can feel the cold a bit but for a pair of summer gloves they I think they're really good um, jacket I'm not sure what make it is uh, but we got it for when I used to go back on my dad's bike but uh, I wear it now trousers um, I've got Gore-Tex from j &S. it's their own brand uh, I think I paid £80 I think and again um, trousers on the jacket I've got winter liners in them so when it's been warm it passed I've just took the liners out but now they're in constantly <laughs> it's a bit too cold to be taking them out now uh, boots I've got um, I'll try and show you in a minute some RST they like casual boot type things, a bit like high top trainers but they have got all the armour and stuff in them for your ankle support and toes and that. So yeah, they're the, they're the shoes. Um, comfortable, um, I dare say. You can go out for a day, um, walk around in them all day, no problem, and then ride back. Uh, I think I paid, they were about 60 quid I think, 60 pounds for these, um, from Speed Style, up at Squires Cafe, and helmet, um, it's a KBC, it's the turbine, it does let, um, you do get quite a bit of wind noise, in all fairness, but it weren't a top of the range helmet, so you get what you pay for and the day, it's a really good helmet, it's comfy, it does the job. But I just couldn't afford to spend a thousand pound on a Guy Martin replica. So yeah, that's why I got this. It's all really all really good, comfortable, uh, relatively light for um, Gore-Tex. So yeah, I'd recommend all these items guys.